Okay, so on today's shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could actually save effects or changes that you made to filters so where you could have some custom filters or effects. So maybe something like this where you have an effect where you zoom in or maybe you actually have an effect where you have some animation. And in this case, you want to save these and you don't want to have to recreate it every single time. So I'm going to show you how to do that today within Shotcut. It's a fairly easy process and it's one that's going to save you a lot of time, especially if you have effects that you like using over and over. Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with what I'm talking about when I mean effects or filters, in this case in Shotcut. So say for example, you have this clip and if you go to your filters, you could add a variety of different filters. So in this case, I'm gonna be using the size, position and rotate filter. So all you have to do is type this in, size, position and rotate. And now you could do a number of things for this video. So in this case, all I wanna do is a quick zoom. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the zoom feature and I'm gonna zoom in the video and also maybe I'm going to move it to the right as well to keep it more centered. Okay, so very simple. So now if I actually uh, play this from the beginning, you notice that it's already zoomed in and then on the next clip it zooms out. And the easiest way for you to copy the effects is you could simply just go ahead and uh, choose the clip that has the effect or filter. And then you come up here to uh, copy right here copy the filters and then you go to whatever clip you want to apply this to so say for example this clip it doesn't have any filter or effect applied so it's zoomed out so we'll go ahead and paste it and now it has exactly the same filters changes or effects that I have on the original clip so that's one really quick way that you could do that but what if you wanted to save this actual adjustments that you made to this filter so then you can use this in other projects anytime you want instead of having to recreate it all the time and then copy and pasting it. Well the easy way you could do that is you could simply save it. So if you go up here to presets on this drop down you'll notice that Shotcut already provides a variety of presets at least on this filter so all you have to do is go to this plus sign right here and now you could save it. So you can name it whatever you want so I'm going to name this test one so I guess for most people, they're going to name it something more descriptive. So I'm going to add a little more descriptiveness to it. Let's just say quick zoom just as a test. So I'm going to save that. So now if you notice, it's part of my presets. So you have the default that Shotcut has already provided. Plus you have a new one that you just created. So now if I go to any other clip and I go ahead and add that filter, if I go to the preset, it's right there. So if I choose it, it applied exactly the same changes on this filter. So now I have this quick zoom effect for any project that I'm working on. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so the next thing I'm going to show you is how do you save a custom effect that has animation? So in this case, we're going to do this by using the same filters, but with keyframes. And so what we're going to do is the same as we did before. We're going to select the clip, go to the filters tab, go to plus. We're going to add our size, position, and rotate filter. And in this case, we're going to be using keyframes. So what you want to do is either go down here to the keyframes tab. And if you don't see that down here, you're going to come up here to keyframes. Or you can go to view and then keyframes. So once you do that, you have keyframes available. We'll go down here to keyframes. And I've already applied the size position filter. So what I want to do is at the very beginning of this clip, I want it to be super small and then I want to zoom in really large. Okay, so we're going to go here and go to the beginning of the actual clip. So, or you can use this right here. Set the filter start. So it's going to start right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this super small. And in this case, I'm just going to show you a really simple keyframe. If you wanted to learn more about shot cut keyframes, I did do an entire tutorial on this and I'll leave that in the description area below if you want to learn how to use keyframes. So once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and go to the end of the clip and we're going to go here to the end. And in this case, you kind of want it to fade in. So I'm going to do like this. Okay. So now if I go back to the beginning and I'll play this, it has a very quick zoom from small to large. 
Now, this is a very simple example of this with this keyframe. So you could do more advanced animations if you wanted to. But once you do that, just like you did before, you can save this. So let's go ahead and save it. We'll call it test two. And I'll call it uh, zoom small to large. Okay. And we'll go ahead and save this. And now it's available on our preset. So if you go back to your timeline, you know, we can watch this right here. And there's our zoom in effect. I'll go ahead and select this down here. Cool. And now since you've already saved this as a preset, uh, you can apply it to other clips if you wanted to. So if you wanted to add it to another clip, let's just go ahead and we'll cut this one right here. We'll go ahead and split that playhead. Then if I choose this clip, add the same filter, and then under preset, choose the new uh, preset that you have created and now if you watch it you know it's going to do it right here as well so you can have a lot of fun with this and it could be as simple as you want or as complex as you want but the great thing is you can save this and reuse it later and if for some reason you wanted to delete these all you have to do is choose the preset and go here to delete and it's going to ask you are you sure you want to delete it say okay now it's gone and the same thing with the other one. Save this and it's gone. The only thing is you want to be sure that you don't delete some of these defaults <laughs> uh, because recreating it might be a little bit difficult. So um, that is it for this particular tutorial, how you could quickly save custom effects or filters within Shotcut. And as you saw there, I did some very simple ones, but you could actually create some very advanced and complex ones depending on your needs. But the best thing is it's going to save you a ton of time and you could reuse this over and over for many other shortcut projects. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comment area below. And if you did want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.